Prentice Hall is a major educational publisher owned by Pearson plc. Prentice Hall publishes print and digital content for the 6 to 12 and higher education market. Prentice Hall distributes its technical titles through the Safari Books online e-reference service. Topic history On October 13, 1913, law professor Charles Gerstenberg and his student Richard Ettinger founded Prentice Hall. Gerstenberg and Ettinger took their mother's maiden names, Prentice and Hall, to name their new company. Prentice Hall was acquired by Gulf Plus Western in 1984, and became part of that company's publishing division Simon and Schuster. Publication of trade books ended in 1991. Simon and Schuster's educational division, including Prentice Hall, was sold to Pearson by G Plus W successor Viacom in 1998. There were two or more authors that had contracts with Prentice Hall in the 1991 to 1995 period. Their books turned up missing when Pearson purchased the company. One book, The Roof Builder's Handbook, is still being sold in 2018 for as much as $230 per new copy, but the author William C. McElroy was told by Pearson that all new books were either destroyed or went missing in 1995. Some 2385 copies are missing. Topic: Notable titles. Prentice Hall is the publisher of Magruder's American Government as well as Biology by Ken Miller and Joe Levine. Their artificial intelligence series includes Artificial Intelligence, a modern approach by Stuart J. Russell and Peter Norvig, and ANSI Common Lisp by Paul Graham. They also published the well-known computer programming book The C Programming Language by Brian Kernighan and Dennis Ritchie and Operating Systems, Design and Implementation by Andrew S. Tannenbaum. Other titles include Dennis Nolan's Big Pig 1976, Monster Bubbles, A Counting Book 1976, Alpha Brutes 1977, Wizard McBean and His Flying Machine 1977, Witch Bazooza 1979, Llama Beans 1979 with author Charles Keller and The Joy of Chickens 1981. Topic in personal computer history. Apprentice Hall subsidiary, Reston Publishing, was in the foreground of technical book publishing when microcomputers were first becoming available. It was still unclear who would be buying and using personal computers and the scarcity of useful software and instruction created a publishing market niche whose target audience yet had to be defined. In the spirit of the pioneers who made PCs possible, Reston Publishing's editors addressed non-technical users with the reassuring, and mildly experimental, Computer Anatomy for Beginners by Marlon Uverson of People's Computer Company. They followed with a collection of books that was generally by and for programmers, building a stalwart list of titles relied on by many in the first generation of microcomputers users. See also Prentice Hall International Series in Computer Science